Hi, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk bringing you a review of the Fuji Finepix Z100FD. It's a tiny little 8 megapixel compact digital camera. We'll show you what you get for your money. We'd like to thank Sennheiser for supplying the audio equipment that we use for our video reviews. We are currently using their Evolution Wireless G2 camera set. If you need professional quality audio, head on over to sennheiser.co.uk. Okay, this is the Fuji Finepix Z100FD. For your £140, you get a really nice 8 megapixel compact camera. It comes supplied with a lithium ion battery, a charger, hand strap, USB and AV cables and also a CD-ROM with a uh, piece of software on there called Finepix Viewer. Now I use a Mac so I didn't put the Finepix Viewer software on, I just pop my memory card into a memory card reader and the photos pop straight up into iPhoto. So we're not going to look at the, the, the photo viewing software here, we're going to just look at the camera itself. Now the camera is an 8 megapixel camera, you get 5 times optical zoom, ISO goes right up to 1600, it's got image stabilisation in there, face detection, automatic red eye removal, so some really nice features. Also a very generous 54 megabytes of internal memory and round the back here you get a glorious 2.7 inch high resolution screen, it's a really nice screen. So let's take a look at the camera itself. On the front here you've got a uh, sliding cover that reveals the uh, the lens and also the flash. It also turns the camera on. If we go straight round to the back you'll see that nice screen 2.7 inches. That's really really nice. You've got controls here for wide angle and telephoto zoom and you've got a rocker switch here and a menu button in the middle which we'll uh, take a look at in a moment. Uh, you also get the opportunity to change the display or turn it off altogether to conserve battery and also the play button there for playing back your footage or your um, the, the photos that you take them. Around the side here you've got uh, uh, little slots here so you can put the, the little hand strap on. If we go around to this side your infrared sensor. If we go around to the bottom just pop that open now in this slot here you've got the battery which just pops out a flick of a switch it's the battery pop that back in and then you've also got the memory slot which is there and uh, that supports secure digital as you can see so pop that back in there close that back up you've also got a uh, threaded mount there for a tripod. Let's turn the camera back on. Like so now I'm going to take a quick look at the the screen and the menus. I'll push the menu button here. It's really nicely set out. It's set to auto at the moment. I can uh, select these various scenes. We've got a, a natural uh, lighting mode there and it takes two photos, one with one without flash. Then we've got a natural light photo, so it turns the flash off. We've got an auction mode. This is really nice, the auction mode, because you can actually take uh, more than one photo and then it combines it into one image. So if you pay for every image that goes up onto whatever auction site you use, uh, this can actually save you money as well, because as I say, you can get like four images or three images into just one image without having to delve into Photoshop on your computer. So that's really nice portrait mode, landscape mode, I mean the list goes on, it's got some really nice uh, um, really nice menu uh, modes in there that you can select from. If we go <coughs> skip through all those modes and then you've got system setup uh, parameters and in here you can s select things like um, whether the frame numbering is uh, continuous uh, if we go into Let's come back out of there. Let's uh, go back into that menu again. So 
gone back into this main setup menu. You can set the date and time, volume, uh, image size for if you're sending direct to a blog site, LCD brightness. All very, very easy to set. Uh, my only grumble is that every time you set something, as you saw there, I set the LCD brightness and it comes all the way back out to the main menu. It'd be nice if it actually just popped back to where you were before. So main menu, uh, you can set whether you've got high speed shooting on or off, continuous shooting on and off, the image quality, which goes up to 8 megapixels, and the ISO setting. There's also some fine pix colour settings there which uh, allows you to change from standard to black and white, which is, uh, which is really nice. Okay, so that uh, gives you a rough idea of the, the, the menu on it. Uh, the image stabilisation works really well. If I just take a quick snap here, one. I'm going to show you the standard setting, which is um, where the camera takes two photos, one with flash and one without. So this is a picture of the phone I use for all of my communications. Let's uh, take that photo. So it's going to take hopefully two photos, one with, one without flash. And then if I uh, it's saying storing, it shows the two photos. If I click playback, and then that shows uh, the first photo, and then the second photo. So it uh, also shows between the two which ISO setting it used, which is really nice. And then you get to choose obviously which one you keep and which one you erase. Okay, so that was my uh, look at the Fuji Finepix Z100FD. It's a really nice, slim, compact camera. As I say, you can pick this up for around about £140 in the UK, and it's a very nice little camera. The photo quality I was very pleased with, the handling I was very pleased with, uh, the only thing that niggled me a little bit was just the, the menus are a tiny bit fiddly, take a little bit of getting used to, but overall, very worthwhile purchase. Thanks for listening, come back soon and check out more video reviews on geekanoids.co.uk. Head on over to geekpouch.co.uk for something to slip your iPod or iPhone into. The Geek Pouch is made from cotton corduroy and is available for the Apple iPhone, the 5th gen iPod Video, the iPod Classic, the 3rd generation iPod Nano and the iPod Touch. I'd like to thank Quark for sponsoring this video review. Quark produced my software of choice, Quark Express is the superb page layout software for design and publishing professionals worldwide.